Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is, uh, hopefully the sound isn't too loud now. Uh, it seems to be working, but I let me know, how, wh- you know what the situation is. Uh, okay, so today's problem. Uh, today I'm going to do a premium question apparently um, that I haven't done before. I keep on doing ones that uh, are not. So uh, so yeah, so let's kind of pick one. And hopefully it's not an SQL question. All right, good. So today's premium extra Larry question is 2204, distance to a psycho and undirected graph. All right, that's a mouthful. Let's see what th- this is about. So you're given a positive integer n, you have a number of nodes in a connected undirected graph containing exactly one psycho. The nodes are zero to n, okay. So basically, what is this output? We turn and enter where the minimum distance between I've node and any node in the psycho. Okay, so we're trying to find a psycho and it's undirected. Mm, and n is 10 to the fifth. So there are n nodes. How many edges are there? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so n edges as well. I thought I would see it here, but it doesn't. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know why they don't put it up here. But uh, okay, so basically it is essentially a, a tree, except for, that's what I was guessing. That's why I was looking for it, to see if my understanding was right. But yeah, but basically it's a tree, except for that it has one extra edge, and that extra edge makes it a psycho. Um, okay. So I don't think this, I'm trying to think whether there's anything weird or tricky about this particular thing um, other than just using a, a depth first search, right? And basically, if you don't go up to the parent and you saw an edge that's already been done, then that is the psycho. Um, at least that's how I would say it in English. Now we have to tell the computer how to do it, right? So basically... Mm, let's say we start at zero, we go one, do, 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 do. we do that first search, or well, by first search, it doesn't matter, just a traversal, and then zero, one, two, uh, we would see that one and two is connected, right? So we know that one and two is in the cycle, and, and then the, um, whatchamacallit, and then the, uh, what's it called? LCS? Uh, li- uh, least common ancestor LCA, yeah, and then the least common ancestors to know that they do on that depth for search tree, and it doesn't really matter where, where um. I don't think it matters which, um, which node you look, and in the worst case you just have a circle anyway. So then there's no like leave or anything, and in that case it's perfectly the same. Okay, so I think I'm convinced that now. Yeah, and then so maybe it's like. You can maybe if you're really smart or or someone like this or like you're really good at graph, you can probably do this in like fewer passes. But I'm not going to concern myself with that. This is my uh, what I think I'm going to do for now, which is that I'm going to do a depth of search from zero and then uh, two nodes that are are we uh, in the cycle. We do um a what you might call it, LCA. And you could do that in linear time. So I'm just fighting this out so that I, I can kind of show you instead of coding it. Um, well, I mean, I'm going to code it, just not yet. So this is linear time. This is linear time um, because we just go up one by one. Um, and then uh, and then the other thing is, um, oh yeah, yeah, now that we have all the nodes that are in the cycle, because now that we have the LCA, then Everything that is connecting the two things are all the nodes that, like all the nodes that we traverse as part of that LCA is um, is part of that cycle, right? And then after that, you can do whatever you like, but maybe the easiest thing uh, uh, thinking is for me, like maybe there are stuff that you can kind of combine a couple of these steps together, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, at least not as a first step, right? Maybe. I, I, Optimize afterwards, but then we just do a multi source, uh, shortest path or, or something like this, or just yeah, uh, I mean, and this is I don't know, and and you can just like you know, breath for search or depth for search, it doesn't really matter. In the in, I think depth for search is a little bit trickier in this case, but um, but either way, this is also linear time, and so we do about like 
four passes or something like this, which is still linear, so it should be okay. So, okay. So, for me, I think I'm convinced enough. Whether that is true, I don't know, but... Uh, <laughs> so, you know, this is the fun part of doing it, I suppose. Uh, all right, let's go. Um, so, yeah, so let's just call this... Yeah, that's for search. Um, so we have a node and a parent, right? Um, and then we also want to kind of be able to go up again. So um, so let's just say parents is you go to... Um, let's say this is n and then just negative 1 times n and then yeah and we have to kind of I, I like to convert this to an edge list though you can maybe do it as a functional graph kind of almost not really because of the cycle but um yeah so for u v and edges u of e and v u of v dot append u right and then here we go, okay, our parents of node is equal to parent, and then for v and y of node, if v is not parent, we definitely search uh, v of node. Um, and then the other thing that we, so this is going to give us the entire depth of search tree. And then the next thing that we want to do, or we have to check that this hasn't been done yet, right? So basically, maybe something like, um, so if parents of node is not negative one, that means that we've already visited this before, then we want the previous parents of node and then the parent to be the thing. So then now uh, maybe we can say uh, psycho nodes. I don't know, that's a terrible name, but that's fine. And it'll be a, a topo say, maybe. Eh, maybe a list. I don't know, we'll see. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> well, like for now. And then now we dip for search from zero, negative one. Um, I mean, only thing tricky. Um, let's just say this is negative two then. Um, so then this. Would that matter? Can you. I'm just trying to think about how to handle the case where we loop around on the zero and then because zero doesn't have a parent. So if you do that, then it connects on. No, no, you don't connect the parent, Larry. You connect. It doesn't have to be the parent that is connecting. I mean, they connect at the same place, but you just take two of the things. So then actually this is um, node and the parent. And I think that should be good. So then here you can eh, negative two is fine. It's just something that will not be used. Okay. So then now we could maybe just run it real quick and also return an empty list of this complaint. Uh, okay. Hmm. Did I mess something up? Oh, because there are psychos. I had to return from this otherwise. I mean, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Um, hmm, the printout is none, so that's not great. Does this work? Nope. Hmm, did I miss? But this would in turn an infinite loop if this didn't return, so there's something weird here. Right? There's something weird is that I'm not doing non local. Yeah, okay. Usually they complain about it. I don't know why they don't complain about it. Hmm, that's kind of odd. Maybe not. Hmm. Maybe if I try to modify the complaints, but because I'm trying to set it, it does not. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, so now you can see that, um, you know, and, uh, you know, in a Queen of Code, maybe you write this out to a separate function or something, but, but you can see that 3 is connected to 1. That's good. That's what we want. And 2 is connected to 0, which is also true, right? So then now we can maybe just do something like... Um, yeah, uh, we will go up one of the things and then just go up the other, right? So let's just say uh, scene is equal to set, right? Uh, and maybe something like uh, while, uh, right, so A, A, B is equal to cycle nodes. Maybe I could have done it a little bit cleaner or whatever. Um, and then 
Um, yeah, so then now while a is not equal to negative 1, then seeing that at a, and then a is equal to parents of a, right? Um, and then now we can print, and then now we do the same thing for b, right? If b is in scene, then, or if b is not in scene, then we break. Otherwise, then maybe you have a scene 2 or something. This is terrible. Or maybe I could call it like uh, overlap. No, but you still need to do it the other way too, so eh. uh, yeah, or, or maybe in psycho, let's call it that, right? Otherwise, we know that when we go up, this is going to be in the psycho, so in psycho dot at b, and then b is equal to parents of b, right? And then now you just do another thing of, um, so then now, if b is not in scene, then the thing that is on the top, No, because we moved it. So then now, B is the fit. Whatever B points to is going to be. So the B is not the LCA. Um, or eh, maybe I should write something like if parents of B is not in scene, we break. Um, and then we just handle it this way. Maybe that's slightly cleaner. I don't know. Uh, oh, well, maybe before we do this. And then now, while. Oh, uh, and then now we do A is equal to cycle of nodes again of zero, so we reset. While A is not equal to B, then A is equal to negative one, or what? What are you doing? Uh, but uh, in cycle, that add A, and then yeah, and then now let's, let's print it out again just to see if we you know, do anything silly. And it may have infinite loop. Because if this is negative one, hmm. huh? Why do I have infinite loop? Oh, because this is negative two. Because we set it as negative two. Whoops. Uh, so when it goes all the way to the top, it'll be negative two. Usually I have it as negative one, but the way that I wrote this is a little bit more not the way that I usually do it. So that's why it's a little bit weird. Um, this is obviously a little bit wrong. Um, but let's take a look to see. I think this is approximately right, but maybe I... Hmm. Well, approximately right isn't good enough, <laughs> right? Um, I mean, zero is the thing. So, all right. So, one thing that I want I could do for fun is just see if I start from six, does it, ha you know, what happens, right? So, it includes the things that are on top for whatever reason. Um, so, scene is here. A, hmm. Let's also print um, B. Oh, mm, yeah, okay. Now we could print B. Because B should be the LCA in this case, and it is not. If parent sub B is not in scene. No, no, this is wrong. It's just in scene we break, right? Okay. Okay, so this is better. Um, I don't... I don't... Oh, I guess it just keeps on going the entire way to the top. Um, why would that never be? Huh. That is just weird, actually. Okay, so yeah, so now we get the psycho in the in psycho, um, and two in this case. Uh, two uh, starting from six, two is the LCA, which you know we we double check and that looks good for. Oh wait, no, that's case one. Well, yeah, case one and case two is actually two is the LCA from that side. Uh, let's bring it back to zero before this gives me a wrong answer later because it has less than six nodes. But yeah, one is the LCA in this case, and zero should be the LCA. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I guess so. I'm really worried about this case, though. I, I was hoping that would give me zero. Uh, or maybe all parents sub B is equal to zero. Oh, I see. I mean, it, it's right, but but this thing makes it like one iteration late. That's why. Okay. I mean, I don't know that that changes the answer, but I think that, you know, right now it gives us more accuracy. So let's do that. And then now we can just, you know, do a regular breakfast search. 
uh, kind of to simplify it maybe. But yeah, so n zero is equal to say infinity times n. Uh, I guess you, everything's reachable. I was just checking to see if everything is reachable, but but it makes sense that it should be. Um, okay. And then now for x in in cycle, then we can unqueue um, n sub x is equal to zero because they're in the cycle. And then what 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 are we doing? Uh, yeah, I guess that's it really, right? And then we we put it in the queue. And then this is just regular breakfast search stuff. Uh, x is equal to that pop left. And then uh, for you, uh, for v in edges, uh, I think y of x. Is it y? What I call y? Yep. Um, if answer of v is equal to infinity, then answer of v is equal to answer of x plus one, and then q dot append v, and then we return answer, and that should be good. Yep, looks okay at least for these two cases. Let's give it some mid. Hopefully, I didn't miss a case, and hopefully, I don't get time limit exceeded. Looks okay. Uh, yeah. So what is the time complexity here? Like I mean, we did it in the beginning, right? So it's it's four uh, traversals of the graph uh, almost a tree but almost yeah four traverse of the graph so this is going to be linear time linear space um you can also say that this is v plus y by the way but of course there are but v and y are the same thing in this particular problem so it's the same thing either way um or v plus y is just o of v or o of y depending on what you want to say but it's both o of n which is the size of the input because it is the size of the edge list um, cool. That's what I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Let me know what, yeah. Let me also let me know the sound level. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's all I have. So stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.